Hey there guys, my name is Zohi Baskar and today we're gonna make a cool looking sonic homing attack in Unity with auto targeting. So let's jump in and see what Sonic can do. Okay, when I press the mouse button, Sonic jumps in the air and falls down. This is it. So what I want to do is when Sonic is in midair and I click again, I want Sonic to strike in this direction. Okay, let's do this, but before that, let me give you an overview of what I've done so far. So I'm gonna select Sonic, that Sonic script is bound to it. So let's open it in Visual Studio. Rigid body here is a reference to Sonic's spiky rigid body. And is grounded pool is the indicator to detect if Sonic's feet are touching the ground. The animator object to change Sonic sprite, the jump force, how high Sonic can jump. And these three are all to detect, are means to detect uh, Sonic's ground position. And in the update method, on left mouse button press, I check if Sonic is on ground. Then I change the Sonic sprite to the jumping one, this one. And if Sonic is falling down, then I change the sprite to this one. And if Sonic hits the ground, I change all the animations to false and change it to the idle one. Okay, the fix update is just checking if Sonic's feet are overlapping with the ground. So, that's it. So this is what we have done so far. So let's move on to our target. So let's begin our homing attack. So let's declare public float attack speed and on button click if sonic is not on the ground the else part i'm going to write rb dot add force new vector 2 8f in the x axis and minus 5f into attack speed. So let's go back to the code. Let's set the attack speed to 70 and let's run it. So if Sonic is in midair and I click again, yes, he strikes here. Before we move on, let's make a homing attack animation. I'm going to select Sonic and add new component, a Circle Collider 2D. And let's add a, another component, the Trail Renderer. By default, both will be disabled. So, I'm going to select Sonic in the animation. And I'm going to create new clip. Let's name it Homing attack okay so what you're gonna do here we're gonna hit record and I'm gonna change sonic sprite to the homing attack one I made okay then we're gonna enable the circle collider as well as the trail renderer Okay, and we're going to disable the box collider because we don't need that anymore. That's it. Let's hit the record again. That's the homing attack animation, but we need to do some editing here. So I'm going to select the trail renderer. Now before that, let's edit the circle collider. Okay, then in the trail renderer, let's change the time to 0 0.3 seconds and change the material to sprite default. And I'm going to change the color to more blue. Oh, that's not blue. 
okay and at the end let's change the alpha to zero okay it looks fine so far now let's go to the animator pane I'm gonna make a new condition here boolean is attacking okay now when Sonic is in jumping or falling it can transition to the homing attack animation so I'm gonna create a new, new transition to the homing attack and I'm gonna change this uh, the condition to is attacking to true okay Sonic can also attack if he's falling so he can make the transition from falling to homing attack and I'm gonna change the condition to is attacking to true and after the homing attack is done Sonic will revert back to the falling position so I can make the counter transition and I'm gonna set his condition to is attacking false okay okay now let's jump back to the code and in the else part I'm gonna write animator dot set bool is attacking true and when he's done so when Sonic hits the ground I'm gonna set it to false okay now let's test it out I'm gonna hit play if I jump and press hit again Sonic homing attacks in this direction okay now what we're gonna do here let's place three enemies here one two and three so what I want to do is I want to I want Sonic to target the closest enemy so I'm gonna display this marker over the closest enemy to Sonic how does it look let me show you so this marker will be displayed here and when this enemy is destroyed it will be displayed over this enemies automatically okay now let's implement this in the code okay now let's declare some variables here public game object the marker reference and public game object the destruction effect when the enemy is destroyed and private game object current marker in scene and private game object marked enemy okay now I'm going to paste the method here so the method is mark closest enemy here we're taking all the enemies by the tag name enemies this array will contain three enemies as we have placed and this is the marker reference currently pointing at any enemy the target object the current position of Sonic and the difference and the distance to calculate uh, during uh, you can say the distance between the enemies where the marker could be shown and the magnitude and here the loop on every enemy and we are calculating the difference to the sonic and calculating the magnitude and picking up which enemy has the lowest distance to sonic so when this loop ends the target enemy here will be the one closest to Sonic and here we are checking if marked enemy is null means we have no marked enemy 
and or the enemy is not the same one already marked then we're gonna set the marked enemy to the target destroy any marker reference in the scene and instantiate the marker over the target game object the target enemy so I'm gonna call this method in the update method and I'm gonna write if marked enemy is not null when we are attacking then what you're gonna do here is we're gonna get the direction of the enemy by typing var direction equal to transform dot position marked enemy dot transform dot position minus sonics transform dot position dot normalized and we're gonna do the homing attack in this direction back in unity let's select sonic and drag the marker prefab over here and the destruction effect I made when the enemy is destroyed here okay so let's check the marker code voila well looks like it's working fine if I jump and attack there seems to be a little problem here let's see oh the attack force is too less let's change it to 600 and check again yes he's moving this direction now now when the enemy is in contact with sonic let's destroy it if the collided object is enemy we're gonna instantiate destroy instantiate the destruction effect in the direction of collided game object dot position dot transform dot position okay and criterion dot identity and destroy it after 0.3 f and then we're gonna destroy the collided game object right well as you can see there's a problem here usually when sonic homing attacks an enemy he jumps in the midair and then proceeds to attack so what is what you're gonna do here is when enemy is destroyed we're gonna disable the acceleration of sonic by typing rb dot velocity equal to vector 3 dot 0 when Sonic hits the enemy, we're gonna stop Sonic acceleration and jump Sonic a little bit higher. And also disable the, the setting the angular velocity to 0f and then move the Sonic up by 6f. Vector 2 dot up into 6f. Okay. And we're gonna set all set the marked enemy into null, and we're gonna destroy any marker reference in the scene. Destroy current marker in the scene, as well as we're gonna set the is attacking animation to false. Okay, now let's test the code out.
if I jump, homing attack, attack, yes. Looks like it's working fine. Let's place more enemies here. I've placed five enemies on the scene. Now let's see how Sonic do. I'm gonna jump, attack, attack. Voila, our homing attack is working fine. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Leave a comment and like if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace out.